guys i hope you're all well welcome back to my youtube channel and um, today i'm going to do a video that i actually have already filmed and then i edited it and i was gonna upload it and then i was just like do you know what that is a poor effort Sinead. i was like i'm gonna re-film it um because i just thought i'd been i'd been filming videos in bulk and i was like they're not good it's not good so i was like i'm not gonna do it i'm gonna refilm it and wait so hopefully today's it will be much better um i'm actually wearing my new tops i just want to talk about it. <laughs> this isn't about anything to do with the video but i literally went to a meeting in peterborough this morning um oh my god look at the color of my hands <laughs> so i went with nas hence why i'm filming a video because hello they just did my makeup with the new afterglow collection and it looks so nice so i'll link to that collection too um because i was like gotta show this makeup up can't just waste it by sitting at home on my own um but yeah anyway so distracted again from the main point which wasn't the main point anyway going on my life story as you guys know i went into h&m because i was early and i got this fleece because i love my fleece marquette i wear it all the time and this is honestly the snuggliest. So my fleece marquette is really warm. But the inside isn't as warm. This is like, I don't know if it's microfiber or what. It's like teddy. And it's like the same material outside as it is inside. It's got this little pocket detail. I just thought it was really cute. And I really liked it. It's got like a half, bit more than a half zip. Um, but yeah, I really liked it. And I tried it on and I was just like, I never want to take this off. And I feel like when you think that about a product, you've got to buy it. So, before I get into it, you're like, before? I mean, you've already blabbered on for a few minutes. <laughs> Everyone always comments like, oh, three minutes when she actually starts talking about the product. I, it makes me laugh so much when people comment that. Um, just skip along, guys. Just keep skipping. You don't have to listen to me talk. You can skip till when I talk about the product. Um, so, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. If you haven't already... <laughs> <laughs> I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. Um, I do lots of videos every week. I, I, I aim to do two a week. Um, but I want to try and do three a week. Because I'm not going to London as much anymore. Which means I've got a lot more time on my hands. And to be honest, I just keep coming up with the ideas that I want to share with you guys. And if I only do two a week, then I just don't know how I'm going to share them all. So um, I'm going to say I do two. But there might be an additional bonus video often. Um, so, I've got my best and worst designer buys here, and I'm not sure whether to show you all the best, and then all the worst, or all the worst, and then all the best, or mix it up a bit. I feel like I should mix it up a bit, so it's not just like, I hate this. To be honest, there's nothing I hate. Everything I've got, I was like, shall I put that in? Like, I really reluctantly put it in, because I feel like to put it in this video is to admit to myself that I wasted a lot of money on these things. <laughs> so, um yeah it's been a, a morning of revelations let's just say that um but i wanted to let you know that anything that i've got here i just sold a couple of bags which i was going to put in here and then i realized i got rid of them um i do I, if i'm not getting rid of it i i still love the products i'll tell you as i get to them so i actually cheated and got six things for my favorites um my best buys um, and I'm just thinking now, I'm going to save the best till last. So, what shall I save till last? Mm, I know. So, I'm going to save my best buy, which is potentially my best buy ever, I'm going to say. Um, and some of these I haven't bought, I have to admit, um, because obviously I'm always honest with you guys. And I get a lot of discount codes and vouchers and I work with brands. So, I'm very lucky to be in that position. So, I will talk to you about a mention for each item. So, um, the first thing is these sunglasses. I wanted to start with the small one. Um, I never realised, so I always wore my Ray-Bans loads. Um, they're like my classics. Probably should have put them in here to be fair. Um, but I, with like statement sunglasses, I always kind of get a bit bored of them after a while. And this pair have literally stood the test of time to me. Um, they're a real kind of classic pair. They're kind of like an aviator. But they've got a really cool style to them. But they're not... Because they've got the rounded edges. I feel like they're not so, like... Pew, 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 too, like, edgy um, for someone like me to wear. Um, and they look really cool. They're really nice. And do you know what I love about plastic sunglasses? You can do that all as you like. And it's not going to rip your hair out. Um, it's so good. And really dark lenses. They're good for you. Also, they're so good for photos, baby. <laughs> 
Um, so yeah, I really love these. These are Saint Laurent ones from Sunglasses Shop. Uh, another website that often has discounts and things. I'm not sure if these are in sale or not. They've got some really nice YSL ones. I'm a clumsy person. I don't put them in the case. I just shove them in my bag and they have stood the test of time. I've taken them all over the world with me and I really love them. So I've picked the most shocking thing or one of the most shocking things. They're all quite shocking. <laughs> As my um, first like mistake. It's not a mistake. I don't regret buying it, okay? I do not regret it. I will buy it again tomorrow. I love it. But I definitely need to get, get it out of the wardrobe a bit more and wear it because I don't. Um, and that is my Chanel bag. I unboxed this with you guys um, when I bought it. I'll put that video in the description, actually. I don't know when I got it. I think it was definitely... I'd say it was at least a year, I'm pushing for two years ago. I could say I could count on my two hands the amount of times I've worn this, which is disgusting for a bag that cost over £2,000. And I tell you why, it's because, so my Chanel, um, I've got the Chanel Lamb Slip Skin Classic Black, which I also considered putting here because I haven't worn it as much. I wore it every day and then I noticed it was starting to get some scuffs on it because of the lamb skin. Um, and so I stopped wearing it to preserve it, but I need to just wear it and love it. And the same with this bag. But I got this because it was, first of all, hello, it's bloody beautiful. And I wouldn't care if I didn't wear it because it's just nice to look at. No one would care because it's expensive. But anyway, a bag like this deserves to be worn, but it's also just a beautiful piece. It's limited edition. It was a collection of that time and it's just so beautiful and special, which is why I wanted it. But it's wool, which I was like, perfect, because my other one gets bashed around. Wool, you can't scuff wool. Well, I tell you what you can do with wool. You can bobble it. And when you wear this against your clothes, it bobbles, which is so annoying because it just makes it look, I don't know if you can see, it's got a few bobbles on it now. It just makes it look so, it just makes it look cheap and bad quality, which is so frustrating for an item that costs so much money. Um, and I don't know why I don't wear it, to be honest. Um, I just need to get it out more. I feel like I kind of, I get a bag and I wear it loads and then I go into the next bag that is new and I wear it loads. Like I'm really fortunate to be in a position where I get sent a lot of items for my job. So I usually um, will like wear whatever's new the most because it's new, I wanna take pictures in it, I wanna show you guys it um, and things like this that aren't sold anymore. Uh, I sometimes feel, I know it's so ridiculous now saying it, but I almost feel like a guilt to wear something that people can't buy because um, they'll be like, oh, I want that, but I can't get it. Um, so I know that's so silly of me. Um, so yeah, this is my, I need to wear, of all the things, this is the thing that needs to be worn the most because it was probably the most expensive thing in this video. So since we're talking Chanel, I thought I'd just throw a favorite in there, or best buy in there, um, and that is these sandals. Now these are a controversial one for me, for myself, not for anyone else, in terms of are they a best buy? Because they have been repaired already and I've not even known them for a year. But I've also worn them <laughs> a ridiculous amount of times. So these are, Chanel shoes are ridiculously comfortable. They're expensive, yes, but they are so comfortable. And when you put the price in comparison to the bags, obviously the bags are outrageously expensive, but I always think that the shoes are quite cheap because the bags, the classic flap is £4,000, but these sandals were £800. And I know £800 is a lot of money for a pair of sandals, but do you not think that in comparison to the £4,000 bag, the price is just, to me, it doesn't add up. Anyway, I'm pretty happy about it because I got, <laughs> the shoes are way more affordable than the bags. Um, not affordable. More affordable, not affordable, obviously. Um, so... These are really comfortable. I love them so much. Um, I've worn them so much. I literally used to walk every day to pick Jack up from work in them, which when I lived in London, which is half an hour there and half an hour back, like, probably shouldn't have done that in my Chanel shoes, but that's how comfortable they are. And when you look at the sole on them, 
Can you see? It's not worn down much at all. And I really thought it would because they're sandals and I thought, you know, that's just gonna rub down. But it's hardly worn down. I'm really impressed by that. But what I'm not impressed by is that one day, probably about a month and a half after I got them, shocking, one of these little CC logos got caught on my basket bag because you know they've got the little loops and pinged off luckily I saw it and picked it up and put it in my pocket um but I was a bit like oh but then I was like Do you know what? I don't want to send it back because the thing with Chanel as well with things like this this was the last pair in London when I got them in my size and this color so I was like if I take them back then I don't have the sandals and I really want the sandals so it's kind of like do I take them back and complain because it's bad quality or do I keep them because I love the sandals I kept them because they're really comfy too um, and then around midsummer, I was walking along and I was like why is that pain in my foot and this massive CC thing had detached and got stuck in my foot and I was like ow um, so then I took them back and they wouldn't refund me uh, or do an exchange because they didn't have the sandals uh, so they had to be sent off to Paris and I was kind of glad because I probably would have accepted a refund on that day because I was annoyed and I was a bit like I've had it with these sandals I have had it with these sandals um, and then so yeah I'm kind of glad that they didn't because otherwise I probably would have and then I wouldn't have the sandals and I really really like the sandals and want them but it took so long so I can't remember the exact date that I sent them but well, they sent them for me from Selfridges. Um, but they did... I've just remembered something else I want to tell you. But it took so long. So I didn't get them back until November. Bearing in mind that they went at summer. So they probably went around September time. Eight weeks or more. Honestly, I was in shock at how long it took. Um, but I got them back. And they were as good as ever. And I was very happy with them. Um, and I wore them for my honeymoon and loved them and I know I wear them again this season So I feel like that's like a mixed kind of a mixed bag about these shoes But at the end of the day they are in my best buy because they're probably my most worn pair of shoes I've ever had so uh, we started with Chanel we may as well carry on with Chanel and I've got another Chanel for my worst buys guys um, Again, not something I regret buying I Thinking about it would I buy them tomorrow? I would maybe in a different color no i would i would these trainers so i went to chanel on fashion week a year ago and i literally went to look at the trainers and they didn't have any and then lauren was like why don't you just ask and i was like okay okay i'll ask i'm a size 41 uh, or 40 41 um and so i was like do you have these trainers and she was like ah oh, We've got one pair in a size 40. I was like, why do you always do this to me? This is like fate. And also then I'm like, oh, I'm going to have to get them because if I don't get them, and this is where the other thing that comes into play. I was like, can I return them if I change my mind? And they were like, no. And I mean, you'd think that they'd let you for a pair of shoes that's like the last pair. And 40, I think, is quite a popular size. Um, so yeah, I was a bit shocked that they don't do that. But anyway, I was like, I've got to get them. And I just wear them like probably a handful of times. And when I say a handful of times, I mean like maybe like five times over that summer. Because I went to LA uh, and I went to Dallas and I went around America basically, not like on a road trip. I just went for a couple of weeks and went to a couple of different places. And when I say a couple, I mean two. <laughs> Those places I just said. Anyway, um, so I went to America and I wore them when I was there because the weather there is great. But in the UK weather, it's quite unpredictable even in summer like it could be sunshine a beautiful day and then five minutes later it'll be hailing like it's honestly so unpredictable um and so i wasn't sure i'm never sure when to wear them because they're suede so this bit's suede this bit is like material but as you can see they've already it's already marked here this is pale pink that's already marked and they're just like the material is just not practical for UK weather, which is so disappointing. So these are more like my holiday trainers, um, which is just really sad because they really deserve to be worn more. And I have protected them, but I'm still scared because I'm a really clumsy person. I'm the sort of person that like, I wear a pair of shoes once and I have like marks all along here from where I've rubbed my feet together. I don't even know how I walk, like some kind of idiot probably. Um, but yeah, they are a really comfortable pair of shoes. 
but also i say 40 to 41 i'm more on the side of 41 they're a tiny bit small for me so if i wear them all day i feel like someone's been pressed down on my toenail but in that moment i was like i've got to get the shoes someone else might buy them i got fomo um and i do love them so i'm gonna keep them i'm not getting rid of them ever um i think they're amazing and again with the handbag they're like limited edition they're such a cool style. They did them in a few different kind of like pastel colours. And actually I really want to get another pair of these trainers in a more neutral colour and a more practical material um, when I can. Uh, but yeah, so these are my another kind of regret in terms of my usage, not regret in terms of my purchase. So another one of my favourite purchases is on my neck. I want to show you guys is this necklace. So, I probably should have taken it off, but I want to show you because I wear it every day. It's this Chloe femininity necklace. Now, I saw this on someone else um, a while ago, the Collier twins. I don't know if you guys follow them, but they're beautiful girls. They are, like, insanely beautiful, and they're, like, identical twins. I feel like people like that are so appealing to follow. Um, but anyway, so this necklace, the, one of them had it, and... Um, she they or maybe they both had it basically they're hashtag chloe girls the dream and one of them um they obviously got gifted it from chloe and by the time i decided to buy it, it was like sold out everywhere and then i managed to find it on harbour nichols which is not somewhere that i would normally look for um anything really <laughs> i have to be honest it's not some it's not my normal like go-to shop um if i was looking for like designer pieces i would just go to the designer website site or like net i wouldn't go to like something like harvey nichols um but yeah anyway found it and ordered it immediately um and now it's i think it's sold out on there too but they have got it in a few other websites um maybe i think sense has it i'll link below i'll find it and i'll link it below i just love it so it's like a female body sorry guys i know you guys hate my teeth and i'm like zooming in i'll try and do that so you don't have to look at them um so this it's like a female body and then you get the little butt which is so cute i just think it's so beautiful and i love that it's like i don't know i just feel like it's like female empowerment and i think it's so unusual which i really love um and i love it so much i actually wore it on my wedding day um and yeah so i just want to show you that because that's another favorite of mine i've literally worn it every day since i got it so admitting that this one was a regret was um challenging for me but it definitely it's not a regret again i'll say this with all of them it's not a regret that i bought it it's a regret that I hadn't worn them as much. And I do think that they are something, they're shoes. I do think that they are something that I will keep forever and wear forever. And I haven't worn them much, but I will wear them forever because they are classic. And it's Gucci loafers. So these, my Gucci, oh, I should put them in my best buys actually. My Gucci loafers, the Prince Town slip on ones, I wear those legit all the time but the slip-on cream ones are like one of my most warm pairs of shoes they're so comfortable i love them i love the style but these just aren't i don't know what it is maybe if i'd have got them in the slip-on i'd have worn them more but i really wanted to get these i actually got these first i just thought they were way more classic um and what i loved about them too is that they're like the classic loafer but um because i'm not really a classic kind of girl well i am but i don't know i like things to be a bit special and these have got the um, kind of bugs embroidered on them, which I really like. And I thought that they were kind of a bit more special. And, and they still were kind of classic because they're black and gold, but they were a bit different. I think these might have gone into the sale on flannels. Or maybe it was on matches. I've seen them somewhere on sale, so I'll link them below. But I think you can still get them full price as well. They're a really great alternative to the classic Gucci if you want something that is a bit different um they are sturdier leather too so they will look better i don't know if you've seen people i often see people with the gucci loafers and they do look a bit i don't know what the word term is other than shagged <laughs> that's such an old lady word they look a bit shagged after a while um but they do honestly um whereas the battered why would i say shagged instead of battered i don't know what's wrong with me um anyway they these won't do that because they are a 
sturdier leather. The woman told me that they have to be a sturdier leather because they've got the embroidery on them. I, I do really like them. I'm never going to get rid of them because I think that, like, right until I'm an old lady, I will wear these. Hopefully my feet don't shrink. Um, but... I haven't worn them. Like, I've honestly probably could count on one hand the amount of times I've worn these. And I've had them for, like, four years. So that's kind of, like, once a year. <laughs> Which is outrageous. Maybe I should get rid of them. No, I'm never getting rid of them. So I've got a clothes favourite now. And that is this acne jumper. And I've got two to show you because I... So I got this acne jumper in the sale on Netta Porter. Uh, oh, it smells insane. What perfume was I wearing? when i last wore this um so this is like a kind of peachy colored it's called the dramatic neckline i think acne jumper so i got it on sale because i, I love acne knitwear but i do not love the prices um so unless it unless it's something that i'm like obsessed with um i'll try and wait for the sale um and i don't think i've actually ever bought anything i'm just like saying that in case next week i buy something you guys are like hey you just said you don't buy anything um so yeah, I love this so much. I literally wear this all the time. Like I'm ashamed to say, I walk around in my pajamas in this in the house. It's just the comfiest jumper I own. Well, no, I own this, but it's like the comfiest jumper I own. It literally goes with everything. It looks expensive too. Like if my dad noticed, guys, and he's like not someone who noticed things like that, but he was like, "Oh, that's a nice jumper you've got on," and I was like, "Thanks." I hope I'm glad you said that because it was expensive, but. Based on the fact that I wore this so much, and still do, still wear this, like, probably at least three times a week, guys, um, I got this jumper. So it's the same jumper, uh, but it was on sale again this year in grey. I just find it shocking, guys, that this classic style jumper would go in sale in a peachy colour and a grey. Like, they are such neutral colours. Uh, and I don't really have a grey jumper that is, like, just so classic like this. So, I got this. I thought it was a good investment to make. Um, and I've just worn it. Like, I haven't worn it, admittedly, as much as the other one. Purely because I wear lighter colours. But um, I do really love this one. And it is a good one to have. And I know I'll get just as much wear out of it. But I'm kind of just showing you this to show that that's how much I love the other one. Is that I got it in another colour. So... We've had a best acne buy. Now let's go to a worst acne buy. And that is this jacket. So. This was another moment of realisation. That really struck me hard. Because I do love this jacket. But I haven't worn it much. And again I could probably count on both hands. The amount of times I've worn this coat. It's not good guys. I need to wear it more. Do you know what? It was sat in its um case too from when we moved and i'm like i need to get it out of the case because i'm never going to wear it when it's in the case uh not case but you know like the little jacket holder zip around things like fabric things um if someone knows what that's called please comment and let me know um so this is the classic kind of shearling i think it's called the velocite jacket i do not regret buying this at all it was the biggest bargain and also i just i loved the fact that it's like the classic style but i really liked because all the other ones that i've seen they had the beige which is really popular which has got the beige collar and then they also have the um what's it called the black which has a black collar so i hadn't seen in store this one which is navy with a cream collar and i really love the kind of contrast of it it's got the cream detail there. It's just, it's so heavy, guys. It's like the best quality and it's like leather. It's just insane. So I got this from Bista Village and I was working with Bista Village at the time. Um, so they kindly gave me a voucher of a thousand pounds, which was ridiculously generous. Um, and so they gifted me a thousand pounds voucher. And I went to Vista Village. I could have spent it on any shop. So it was a collaboration with Vista Village, not with Acme. Uh, so they gave me this voucher. If you guys have been to Vista, you know how many shops there are. I'm thinking of going soon. I'll vlog it for you guys if I do. Um, so I saw this and it was £1,500. And normally they're £2,000. So it's a £500 discount, which is amazing. Um, so I got it like a year and a half, two years ago. Um, and... I, sorry, I'm just thinking of all the times I've not worn it. <laughs> um, so it cost me £500 and I was just like, I can't not get it. Like £500 for such a statement kind of 
classic coat and before I got this I also had had the Zara one which you guys will all probably know I'll put a picture in it's like the classic everyone had it um it was really popular and I wore it for like three winters running and in the end I was like do you know what it's worth it when I saw this I was like I've worn my Zara one so much it's worth it but I feel like because this is an expensive one I'm kind of like I put it on a pedestal so I kind of don't wear it as much as I should so I think I just need to kind of bite the bullet and wear my designer stuff more maybe I'm just like trying to preserve it but I think the stuff deserves to be worn so my second from uh final <laughs> best item and um my final one remember is my favorite ever um is this bag so this is from Chloe as well, as well as my necklace. Um, and it's the Chloe Faye day bag. Now this was a really, really, really like ridiculously generous gift from Brand Alley. Um, and Brand Alley is a website that does, I think I did an unboxing with this from them actually. If I did, I'll link it below. Brand Alley, they do discounted designers. It's a bit like a Vista Village, but online, but they do high street too and like in between and they do like homes they do like furniture and stuff so you can get like tom dixon furniture discounted which is amazing um and then they also do like beauty stuff they have elements and stuff all discounted um and then they have like clothes and bags and shoes so they have loads of mulberry aspinall chloe givenchy prada loads of gucci they have so much it's insane you just have to keep watching it though because it is something that like the stock changes all the time um, so I saw this online and they very kind of gifted it to me. They did have a couple of sizes, um, but I went for the small one because I just loved it. My friend Amy Nevs actually had it um, when I went on a trip with her and I was like obsessed with it. And then I was like, Amy, I'm going to get it back. <laughs> and she was like, get it. Um, which is what a good friend should do, by the way. I hate it when friends are like, oh, I don't want you to have the same as me. So I love this bag so much. I have worn this so much. I love the neutral colour. I love the fact that it's got the top handle and it's a really good size top handle. So you can like really put your arm through there, hold it, swing it round. Like when bags have like a really small top handle, it's like really awkward to hold. It's quite awkward how it does that, which is annoying, but it's like that. And you can fit loads in it. Loads, loads and loads. Um, and I, lo I just love the Chloe bags, all Chloe bags and style. Um, and then it's got this crossbody strap too. And because of the way that the strap is, it just falls really nicely either to the front or the back when you do have the crossbody strap on. So you can't really see it, which I think makes it perfect. Okay, so my final bad buy is something that I bought very, very, very recently. And it cost me a bomb and I did an unboxing on here. And I've probably worn it like five times, uh, maybe less. Um, is my Bottega bag. Now, I do not regret getting this bag at all. I love it. And I know the big bags are in at the moment and they will be in summer. And I feel like this is truly a summer bag when it will come into its own. It's in summer and not now. So that's what I'm telling myself because it's got this like lovely kind of linen material and the leather. I've just found that it's a bit awkward to hold. Um, but I feel like in summer, I always wear my basket bags and stuff. So maybe... Um, maybe like in summer i'll wear it more and um, and i think it'll be it'll go a lot better with some of my summer clothes maybe um but yeah i love it so much i just i haven't worn it which i'm just really disappointed in myself by because i just i wanted it for so long and i finally got it and then why am i not wearing it now um and it is such a good bag last but not least is my absolute favorite purchase potentially ever and my best buy these are just overall by the way these are not for like a certain year as you can tell by the way the fact that i'm like i've had them for this many years um is guess what designer it's from it's a handbag comment now pause and comment and guess what handbag it is um and we'll see if you guys are right chloe it had to be chloe guys i'm obsessed with chloe as you know um so this was quite a not a spontaneous buy. Okay, so this is how I got this bag. I had worked with um, Farfetch. I did some work for them. And then as a little thank you, they gave me a um, voucher. So they gave me a voucher. I think it was it was either 400 or 500 pounds. I can't remember now because it was over a year ago. Um, it was either four or 500 pounds. Um, and I had thought to myself, I'm not going to just buy something for the sake of it, which I'd done in the past with them. I thought I'm going to hold on and I'm going to wait until I see something that I really want. And I'd already kind of got my eye on this. 
Uh, and then I went to an uh, event and uh, Kavita was there and she had this bag and I was like, okay, I'm sold. Uh, and they're doing quite a few different colours actually. Someone told me that Vista Village have got the other colours now. This colour kind of sold out soon after I bought it. Uh, not because of me, I'm sure, but just like because it's popular. Um, and yeah i haven't really seen it since anywhere um so i was like i really want this and then black friday was coming up so i waited for black friday to come they had an amazing offer and i can't remember what it was but and then it was i had the 400 pound discount which luckily i got to use the same than both which i didn't think i'd be able to but i could and it was meant to be 1200 and i got it for 600 pounds which was like all of my stars aligned um so i was so happy with that it was mega chuffed um so this is like the cutest little bag but you can actually fit so much in here like maybe i need to do a review video of this so this is a chloe roy and you can it's actually really huge inside you can fit loads in there um and it's got this drawstring tea towel there and i love the way that this kind of i mean you can stick it in if you want if you don't want it showing but i quite like the way that you can see the little in, inner of it i love these big gold hoops either side and like the, they kind of look like a saddle and they also do it in plain by the way and then the little horses um and then it's got the little strap again chloe just have like these sensible top straps that are just so much easier to use because you can just put your arm in there swing it around and again it's got a crossbody strap and that falls nicely so that if you do wear it with the crossbody strap which i don't have with me it's in the other room sorry um but it's a thicker strap uh, and it's adjustable again um and yeah you can if you don't have a strap on that falls nicely so it's not like you've got um two straps if you know what i mean um so yeah it's a really nice bag I've literally worn this so much and as you can see if you look at the leather there's like a tiny nick there but apart from that I don't feel like you can see um that it's been worn loads like it's really good quality and like on the bottom I always put it on the floor and look it's just I just think that the leather is really good quality and it doesn't look like that kind of grainy leather that is often the leather that is um withstanding of things like that but it it's, it does so it's like kind of got that the properties of like a caviar type leather without having the kind of bobbly effect uh which i love um so yeah my fave and it's navy too which i didn't know if i'd wear navy as much but honestly i again with the other one if you look at my instagram like there's a section where i'm just like only wearing this bag and i still wear it all the time now it's just the easiest bag it goes with everything and i love it so thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you found some things that you like in there. If you've got anything that is in my favourites and you love it too, let me know. Or if you don't like it, let me know. Also, if you've got anything in the things that I don't like but you love, let me know also because I would love to hear how you wear it and how you style it to kind of give me some inspiration. And if you want me to do like a styling challenge, styling up the things that I don't wear as much, then also let me know about that. Just let me know, guys. Um, and let's have a little conversation in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, then I'd be super happy if you could subscribe if you're new here. Uh, if you're not, then thanks so much for sticking around. Um, and I will see you next time. Bye.